Hey, what's going on out there, Red Dead Online? This is uh, Blake Toast 84 here, and I'm going to be doing a review of the ability card for Comeback Stronger. So uh, let's go ahead and just look at the card, um, read what it does. We'll talk about uh, what it does in gameplay, and then we'll talk about other cards you could put in a build with this to help it become more powerful than what it is. So um, this is a healing card, as you can tell by the little heart there, a heart health card, healing card, whatever. Come back stronger, tier three. Your health begins regenerating much sooner after you take damage. So basically what happens when you use this card, as soon as you take damage, you immediately start regaining health. You start uh, healing a lot. So um, this is a good card. This is a card that I use a lot. I don't use it as much as I used to, but this is also a situational card where if you're playing a game like Spoils of War, Plunder, Up in Smoke, anytime you're using Slippery Bastard as your primary uh, dead eye card this card comes in handy a lot so um, it, it basically lets you heal faster so there's really no reason why you wouldn't want to use that if you're doing uh, the slippery bastard build the issue you're going to come across with a card like comeback stronger is the fact that again uh, red dead online is predominantly a game of headshots so what difference does it make if you're using this card or not if you get shot in the head nine out of ten times and you're dead in one shot so uh, that's why it's a circumstantial card but if you're good at jumping and diving and staying undercover and you know using never without one or not taking those shots to the head and not dying in one shot this card has the potential to be very very useful so again when I play any of the uh, regular size showdowns this is a card that I, I will have if I'm playing Up in Smoke, Plunder, or um, Spoils of War, just because if I pop in a Slippery Bastard, you're not going to be able to auto-aim on me that easily. But if you do and you are able to shoot at me um, whatever way, this card will help me heal a little bit. So basically what I'm going to do is show you the other cards that I typically play with um, if I'm going to be using Comeback Stronger. So uh, I'm definitely going to be using Slippery Bastard. Um, while Dead Eye is active, any play enemy players cannot lock onto you and you cannot lock onto them. Uh, other enemies are much less accurate when shooting at you. Uh, the rate at which your Dead Eye drains is increased. So that's going to be critical when you're using um, Slippery Bastard and come back stronger uh, because let's say someone's sh um, is shooting at you with painted black and they have marked a target on you you know you can zig and zag a little bit to help you um, if you're out in the open but another thing that's going to be crucial is the unblinking eye it says your dead eye and eagle eye drain much slower so that's definitely a card I play with come back stronger and I'm not going to lie um, Oftentimes when I do this, I end up playing with peak condition as well. And the reason is, if you look at the second sense there, it says uh, inflicting much more damage. Whoops, I'm sorry. The third sense. Additionally, sprinting uses less stamina. So if you're going to be in Slippery Bastard and you're going to be using Comeback Stronger and Unblinking Eye, you're going to be running a lot. So to have the ability to um, get shot at and keep moving and it regenerates some health is important if I'm not going to use peak condition let's say it's a smaller map and I'm not going to be running that much um, the other card that I would run with this is, is going to be live to fight another day it says you take uh, less damage from bullets while sprinting so if you know you're going to be running, you know you're going to be sprinting, you could use this with Comeback Stronger. So you're getting shot at, you're in Slippery, you're getting shot at, people shooting a shotgun or they're just, you know, shooting at you in, in, uh, on their own aim. This, this will let you take less damage. Um, another one that would be good to go with Comeback Stronger is going to be of single purpose. And, you know, again, if you're using... Uh, the build that I'm referring to where you're going to be using comeback stronger just to help you heal while you're getting back to a base uh, and you're not going to likely take a headshot this one would be good because it says you take a little less damage 
uh, from bullets while unarmed or using a melee weapon. So in this instance, you could just take the weapons out of your hands and just run with your character, you know, just um, pop into here, you know, and just, just run empty fisted or just run with a dagger in case you get tackled or something. Um, you know, it's obviously at your discretion. But I like Comeback Stronger since I do do the regular size showdowns a lot it is a card that I actually use a lot as you can see it's tier 3 for a reason for me um, if you're looking to do like showdown larges it, it might be good for you uh, if you're in tall trees um, in case you get into to a fight out there but you know maybe when you're lower level uh, and, and you're fighting NPCs and stuff this would be a good card to help you you know um, not get killed if you're, you know, going getting attacked by the Del Lobos or, you know, whatever the Adriscoles. This might be a good one, or for random story missions. But uh, in in the world of the Red Dead Online PvP, this card just it, it's a liability unless you're doing, the, you know, the the slippery bastard build. Just because it's so easy to get your head blown off. So that's what everybody does. You don't get into the crazy shots. And if you were to use this card, uh, you know, in that type of setting, it's still not going to heal fast enough. I would probably recommend something like Strange Medicine instead um, for PvP if you're going to use one of the green cards, like in that capacity. But this is a card I've used over and over and over again, and I still use it regularly. But you really have to understand the other cards you're playing with it, stacks or builds or however I call them. And you need to figure out, is this going to implement the other cards I'm running or not? And if you're going to implement um, Unblinking Eye, Slippery Bastard, and a Single Purpose Comeback Stronger is perfect for that. Or you could just change this one out with To Fight Another Day, or Never Without One, or um, maybe if you're going to use this, you could use an offensive card. I wouldn't. Or Peak Condition. So... Um, because if you're running those bags, you need that extra stamina so you're not having to take potions or eat food to rebuild your stamina. So that's my take on Comeback Stronger, guys. Um, let me know your thoughts on it. Let's have a discussion about it. Leave a like, dislike, a comment, uh, subscribe. That's, that's your call. But uh, this was something I wanted to kind of go over for a while. And, um, you know, overall, it's a great card. Just need to know how to use it right. Until next time, guys. Cheers.